Welcome to Think, Make, Innovate. This is Smith's Arcade. Pong is the classic original video game. Do you think it's the first video game ever? Maybe. We don't have a fact check on this, so I think you're probably right. Do you know what I think is the original Makerspace moment? What? Kane's Arcade. Did you know it's been seven years since the original Kane's Arcade no was released way. on YouTube? Yeah, no way. It sparked a whole movement of creativity through cardboard creations and has even inspired its own global day of play. I feel like so many of our schools have participated in their own versions of Kane's Arcade. And Animosa High School is no exception. They took a twist on their Kane's Arcade by adding in Mickey Mickeys. These students experimented with code on scratch and created their very own arcade in their high school lobby. With just cardboard, glue, tape, paint, and, of course, the addition of the Makey Makey, they created some really radical projects that they were very proud of and were super fun to play. So we hope you take up this month's challenge by creating your own arcade game. Whether it's high-tech or low-tech, we'd love to see what you make. Send in photos or videos of your arcade games in action, and we will add them to our maker community. And as always, have, have fun, fun making! Um, while they're in my classroom, it's a lot of project-based activities where students are really engaging with the material. Um, it, they'll get frustrated sometimes when their code's not working and they'll use uh, debugging strategies and problem-solving strategies that they can um, use in my classroom as well as take uh, some of those strategies into other classrooms as well. Um, and honestly, by the end of the semester, I'm expecting students to, you know, know as much as I do or even, even more than I more than I do in computer programming and that's not scary to me to, uh, as a teacher I think that um, if I can push students to their potential and uh, a level of engagement that uh, even goes beyond the amount of knowledge that I know uh, I think that I've done a pretty good job. It, the Makey Makey is very easy to use you just have to know how to use it. Um, we took tinfoil and cardboard and styrofoam to make the game pads that way you could step on them and that way they would bounce back. Um, our code has it speeding up when you score so many points. I would, I think it's way different than what we did in the past. It's really hands-on and just take our own version of it and make it however we wanted to.